back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sierra, and in my videos, I like to talk about everything fashion. So in today's video, you guys, I decided to recreate some of Margiela's past looks from his past collections. In particular, his spring 2000 collection, all about oversized pieces. So you see a lot of oversized blazers and button ups. And then I decided to do one look from his spring 1996 collection, which consists of really minimal pieces and really lightweight fabrics. I bring simple with oversized into a bowl, mix it all up and you get Sierra. So it was fitting for me to recreate these looks, you guys. For this look, you guys, it's very, very easy for me to recreate because I have an oversized button up in my wardrobe already that I actually thrifted a couple years ago. I got it for like three or four dollars. And also the blazer that I'm wearing is also thrifted. If you really want to recreate a Margiela look, honey, it's all at the thrift store. <laughs> it's all at the thrift store. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this collection, I'm like, yo, I see these pieces at the thrift store all the time. Me and Margiela, y'all, I'm telling y'all, me and Margiela, we here. We here. Left a couple buttons, unbutton like the model in the picture, giving y'all realness. And then for shoes, I decided to wear my Margiela tabbies because this is a Margiela look, honey, so you better bring out the tabbies. I absolutely love this look. I cannot wait to wear this like outside. That is my take. All right guys, going into this second look, this look really, really pulled me because of the fabrics that he chose to work with. It looks like a satin and maybe like a cotton pant. And this look to me is just all about texture and feels. I felt that I had very similar dupes to these pieces. So let's see my spin. <laughs> I decided to keep it in the cream family because this is springtime. Really like it broken up with the black as well, you guys. I feel like it gives an unexpected soft harshness to the look. And I really love the top that the model is wearing. I really wish I had a top like this because as you can see, although it is draped off her shoulder, it is still long in length. So I couldn't re re recreate it. I wanted to make these looks me as well. So this is me making it me. The model in the picture, she's wearing a little transparent shoe. And to elaborate on this little transparent shoe, Margiela essentially just took the base of one of his tabby toe shoes and wrapped model's feet around it with duct tape. So I decided to wear my little Yeezy sandal, which is also transparent. I was gonna cover my face, y'all, but I was like, that's too much, girl. <laughs> this look as well, you guys, is all thrifted, except for the black tank top. I actually got this from Urban Outfitters for like 20 bucks. Really, really good basic. And this look also, too, creates a lot of movement with the fabrics. As you can see, my shirt is 100% silk, and it's just blowing in the wind. And it just gives you such this sensuous vibe. I just love the nonchalantness of this look. I mean that shoulder is telling you I don't give a damn okay my shirt is falling off and I look amazing. I don't care. Leave me alone. This is the look. And yeah probably one of my most faves. I cannot wait to wear this like on date night and I feel a little sexy. I'll probably wear a little pop on the lip as well. All right, you guys, so for this last look that I recreated it is from Margiela's Spring 2000 collection. Me and Margiela Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Literally, I have worn this before. It looks like the model was actually wearing like a thicker dress with the light wash jeans underneath to give it more of a casual approach. And I love, love, love the patent leather shoe with this, you guys. More of a glam feel, but still casual because you're wearing jeans. So my spin, I chose to wear this linen top that I actually featured in my last video. And it is actually Eileen Fisher, honey. I know you think Eileen Fisher is for your mother and your grandmother, but no, she has some pieces that will work for us youngins as well. And also, you guys, I wanted to keep the same concept with the boat-like neck. I love the stacking of the jeans that the model was wearing, which is why I chose to wear my G-Star jeans because it gives me that same stacked effect. So, of course, I chose to wear my Margiela Tabby Ballerina flats, which totally go with the look. Definitely gonna be wearing this again and again, and again, and again. I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not, dig into Margiela Archives, okay? It will give you life, okay? Life. It's actually like my favorite thing to do is like pop my headphones in, listen to good music, and just look at fashion. I mean, it's the funnest thing to me. I don't know why, I'm super weird. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please, please give me a like if you like this video. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button, you guys. I'm almost at 800 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.